Hey, man, y'all really need wisdom to know the truth, bro. Like, bro, honestly, bro. Like, bro, why I'm mad, bro? Like, like, like bro, why I'm really mad, bro? Because, bro, people and pastors, bro, so-called pastors, bro, they're supposed to cherish the word of God. These fuck ass pastors, they're supposed to cherish, they said they so-called call themselves prophets, apostles, bishops, and all that shit, and pastors and shit. They call me a devil's child. They're supposed to cherish the word of God and respect prophecy and respect the God's word and God's word. You feel me? And this stupid ass government, fuck ass government, government officials, United States government, European government, and Israel government, stupid ass people, bro. You feel me? Like, they are trying to do everything, bro. They are trying to do everything, bro, to go against the word of God, bro, to go by my back, bro, to use my name, bro, to go by my back, bro, and try to break the word of God. You feel me? Just because they want to make me to be false. You feel just because they hate me so much, but they hate my teachings, bro, and they hate the fact that God has blessed me, bro. You feel me, bro? And, and, and they're scared of the fact that I'm going to be rich as hell of this gospel. You feel me, bro? And I'm going to rich as hell off my music. You feel me? They're scared of all these things. And a black man being, being, being the most rich and powerful person in the whole world. You think just because they're scared of these things, bro, they're doing everything they power, bro, to make me be a liar, bro. And that's even deceiving people, bro, telling people that the word of God will not come to pass. You feel me? That I'm lying and the word of God is a lie. They're trying to change prophecy, bro. They're doing everything to change the prophecy, to try to stop prophecy from coming to pass. These are people that are supposed to respect the prophecy, especially these pastors, bro. These pastors claim they're so holy as thou and holy. Holy as the Lord, as, as holy as whatever, you feel? But they cannot teach y'all government officials why it's important not to mess with prophecy. They cannot teach y'all. Nigga, I've lost all respect for all of you. I've lost respect for everybody in the world. Nigga, fuck you pastors. Fuck you government. Nigga, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck you world leaders. Nigga, fuck all of y'all, nigga. I'm sick and tired of y'all. I've lost respect for y'all. But that's why I talk to y'all the way I am. I, I do. Cause nigga, I don't have no respect for none of y'all. Nigga, fuck all of y'all. Bro, even civilians. Nigga, fuck all of y'all. Man, y'all y'all supposed to respect the secret books, bro. The Quran, the Jewish law, the Bible, man, the Buddhist teaching, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all supposed to respect these books, bro. But but y'all are trying to stop prophecy. Y'all trying to go against the word of God. Man, the same word of God that you get in that altar and teach every Sunday. You're trying to go against the word of God. All because you you jealous. All because of jealousy and greed. All because you can't use me to make money. You think all because I won't let you use me to make money. You think all because I won't let you use me to do all the evil things you want to do. You feel me? Man, y'all want to be mad at me. Nigga, fuck y'all. Nigga, I'm telling y'all straight up, nigga. For real, nigga, I'll be a better man of God than any one of y'all would be. And, Luckily, I feel because the that gave you but I'll be a better man of God than any one of y'all will ever be in your life, nigga. Fuck y'all, nigga. And I found the prophecy of Daniel. I was the first one to find the prophecy of Daniel, bro, and I was screaming this shit a long time ago. You feel me? All these people are bitches, bro. You feel me? All these people are bitches, bro. They're all bitches, bro. They're all bitches. All of them are bitches, bro. But that's how I feel. That's how I feel. People trying to change the word of God. People trying to go behind God's back and disrespect God. But you not even just, just disrespecting me, bro, bro. You want to disrespect the Most High God. You want to change His word, then you want to go on the altar and teach the same word that you want to tell lies on. Man, I don't, Bunny, I don't respect none of you pastors. I will never respect none of you pastors, nigga. You lost all my respect. Nigga, I don't respect no pastor, nigga. I don't respect none of y'all. Y'all lost all my respect. All y'all some bitches, especially you pastors, bro, because y'all nigga teach that Bible every day. You teach that Bible every Sunday. You keep teaching that Bible. But you go behind people back, man. Talking about people back, trying to break the word of God, trying to go against the word of God and call the word of God a lie. Man, call God a lie. No, you are a lie. No, all you government officials trying to make me be a lie, make God be a lie. No, you are going to be the ones that going to look like liars, not me. I'm going to look like the truth because the truth of the word of God will come to pass. I don't care about what you call me. I don't care about what you do to me. I don't care about none of that. As long as you honor this word of God and this word of God comes to pass, I don't give a fuck.
I don't give a damn about anything else. I don't give a fuck about my life. I don't give a fuck about nothing. You feel me? But this word of God. And y'all niggas are lame, bro. I mean, y'all niggas are lame as fuck, bro. Y'all lame as fuck, for real. Straight up. And that's how I feel. And that's how I always feel. But now, bro, y'all never had my respect. Y'all lost my respect a long time ago, but they won't give a fuck about y'all. Straight up. You sacrificed me. You did the money sacrifice. Yeah, y'all doing demonic miracles in the house of God. Man, y'all have no respect for the house of God. Y'all just want to make money off the Bible, bro. But all y'all niggas want to do is make money off the Bible, bro. But you don't want to teach people the truth. But you don't want to make money and be famous. Bro, man. Bro, bro. Bro, bro, that's what all you false men of God think this shit is. Just, just to make money out of the Bible and be famous. You feel me? You, you don't know nothing about the true teachings of the Bible. You don't know nothing about understanding the Bible. You don't know nothing about moving in the Spirit of God. You don't know nothing about being stirred in the Spirit of God. Because you've never been stirred in the Spirit of God. I mean, you've been doing demonic powers. But don't worry about it. God is going to expose you. I don't care what you say about me. But God, God himself, that, that, that God that you've been lying on, you've been calling me demonic child for, you've been doing all this shit to me, all the evil things to me for, trying to cover your ass and trying to think, man, you can hide all that shit. You feel me? God sees everything. He sees everything. And he's going to expose y'all. He's going to expose all of you. All of y'all, he's going to expose all of y'all. Because y'all niggas are false. And we are in a critical time. We're in the end of time. The prophecies of Daniel. And y'all don't even understand it. But all y'all niggas screaming is 70 weeks, 70 weeks, 70 weeks. Now, what is the meaning of the 70 weeks? None of y'all niggas can even give explanation to the meaning of the 70 weeks. Or what the reason for the 70 weeks to be. You feel me? Because you don't understand shit about this prophecy. But you just want the fame. And you just want to make the money of this shit. But God... God is going to see y'all. I promise you, y'all time has come to be exposed. We are at the end of the 70 weeks, and your time has come to be exposed, and all of you will be exposed. I promise you, and the whole world will see that I've been telling the truth, and I've been telling the truth, and I did it out of love. I did it out of kindness. I did it out of good, because I care. Not, not for your life, but your souls, nigga. Fuck your life, nigga. Bro, I don't give a fuck about life. Remember, you feel me? Bro, I'm the dead that's alive. I am the dead that is alive. I came back to life January, January 4th, 2015. I was dead. Bro, for real. I was dead. Bro, you see this shit right here? Bro, you see this shit right here? You see that shit right here? That shit hit my heart. You feel me? They shot me in my heart. You feel me? Bro, Illuminati used my little homies, man, my little artist, DJ, them to shoot me. You feel me? I was dead. Now I'm alive, bro. And all this pastors are lying to y'all. And I, 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 bro, I pray and hope that y'all will wake up and see the truth. The day you wake up and see the truth, you will see the truth. But God is about to expose these people because they're about to die. Because God... God, God has said in his word that he's going to bring the Persians over here. And there's nothing nobody will do about it. No matter what you say. I don't care. All you folks are liars. All you folks are liars, man. Y'all just want to make, make, make money off the gospel. You, you, don't, you don't even love the gospel for real. Man, for real. Straight up, man. Y'all don't love the word of God for real. Bro, y'all, y'all don't study the word of God like I do. Bro, man, y'all... Man, man, you know what, man? 